What's happening everybody? Taylor with KC here, and in this video, we're gonna be comparing two different sets of lights. So, we're gonna compare the Flexair 3 Off-Road versus the Flexair 3 Dual Mode SAE. So in this video, we are going to cover the different uses for each set of lights. Then we're gonna dive right into the physical appearances of them. And then of course, the optics, the internals, the guts, which are really actually the meat and the potatoes of where all the differences lie on these. Then at the end, we're gonna show some beam pattern footage and that's pretty much it. We're gonna wrap it up after that. So if you wanna see all that, stay tuned. And with that, let's dive right in. For the Flexair 3 off-road version of light, these are exactly what the name sounds like. They are meant only for off-road use. So we not only have a spot beam version of that light, but we also have a combo beam version of that light. We choose to control the beam pattern with the lens itself. Then jumping over to the SAE version of the Flexair 3 light, we have this, which is intended for both on-road and off-road use. So this in the kit comes with both the clear lens and the selective yellow lens. So that leads us right into what are the different uses? When am I gonna wanna use the off-road set of lights versus the on and off-road set of lights, things like that. So primarily these are really good when it comes to A-pillar or ditch mounted lights anywhere on your lower front bumper or if you really don't care about on-road use, they're even good in the fog pocket applications as well. But again, the big use case here is gonna be forward-facing lighting, off-road use only. Jumping over to the dual mode SAE lights, because these have that dual mode, you can use them both off-road with the high beam, but you can also run them on road as your fog beam lights. So these are really only intended to be mounted into the fog pocket of your vehicle. So what that means is if you have a Jeep, a Toyota, a Subaru, a Bronco, anything along those lines, these are gonna be the perfect light for that fog pocket location. So that's really the big differences. Off-road, on-road and off-road, A-pillars, bumpers, ditch lights, things like that, versus only fog pocket locations. So now let's take a little bit of a closer look at the physical appearances of them. And then we're gonna go into the internals and the guts of the lights after that. Physically, these lights are pretty much the same from the outside looking in. Um, as you can tell, they are both Flex Era 3 lights. So when it comes to the height of the lights, the depth of the lights, the width of the lights, they're pretty much the exact same. They're both Flexera 3s. So, um, heck, from the back, you might not even be able to tell the difference because it's all pretty much the same. The heat sinks on the back, the housing, all of that, the mounting, the bracketry, all of that is the exact same from the off-road version to the SAE version. Um, even the faceplate, the way that the lens is held in, the bezel itself, that's all the same. So you can go ahead and use the colored bezels from the off-road for the SAE and vice versa. Now, the real big difference lies on the inside, the optics, and that's really where you can kind of tell the difference when you look at it from the face on. So for example, you can tell that you can see a lot more shiny chrome surface area on the reflector here on the off-road versions and on the SAE versions, you can see um, a little bit more uh, optics on the inside, gives a little bit darker, sleeker appearance. So those are the big differences physically. Now that leads us right onto the inside, which is the optics, which is really where the big differences lie. The guts of these lights, once again, are where all of the big differences lie. They are two totally different technologies that provide the forward-facing light and the output itself. So on one side of the spectrum, on the off-road side of the spectrum, you can see it's very much a traditional forward-facing LED technology, which uses the reflector, the shiny chrome surface area, to kind of capture and aim that light and harness it and make it go exactly where we want it to go. And then we use the lens itself to control the beam pattern. So that's the off-road side of the spectrum. Now, comparing that to the SAE side is where some really cool and interesting little differences lie. The first thing that you'll notice is there's basically two different sets of lenses on the SAE version. We have the outer lens, which 
one of which is just a clear lens that helps keep dust out, dirt out, water, moisture, all that kind of stuff, keeps it out of the inside of the light. Then on the other version of the, of the lens, it's more of a filtered light, which gives a selective yellow output. So um, the two different lenses do the same job of keeping all that out, but one's clear, one's gonna be selective yellow. Then on the inside of that is another lens. That is going to have a Plano convex lens on the bottom for our off-road spot beam. And then we have a projector type lens on the top for the fog beam version of this light. So that system that we've developed, our product development team came up with, allowed this projector optics to be much more efficient than kind of the other fog lights out there. So what that means for us is we are actually able to achieve the same output and achieve a very strict compliance with the SAE J583 um, fog beam pattern with only two sets of LEDs on the top rather than three or four. So the cool part about that is because we're much more efficient, we were also able to bake in that extra power mode of an off-road spot beam all into one little light, all into one compact package. So that's what's really cool about this light is there's a ton going on. We completely stripped the guts out of the original Flexera 3 to create the SAE version. So while they really look the same on the outside, the inside is where a ton of the differences lie. Um, especially when it comes to the optics and the way that these lights are putting light down the road in front of you. So next thing up on the list to talk about is the actual beam pattern footage. Just in general, right, when we compare the off-road versions to the on-road and the SAE versions, these ones, off-road lights, are gonna be much more intense of a light, much more bright, much more actual output than the SAE version. And that's because we simply don't have a lot of compliances to adhere to, so we can pump all three sets of LEDs full power the whole time and just really aim that light out where we want it to go. So you'll notice that this is the on-road, the SAE version is a much more controlled, a much more refined beam pattern due to those projector lenses. Um, but it's not gonna be quite as intense, but you will see that that full width of the beam pattern is very dense with the amount of light in it. What that means is whether you're looking at the center of the beam pattern on the fog beam or the outer edge of it, it's gonna be the exact same amount anywhere within that entire beam pattern itself. So then comparing the spot beam to the combo beam for the off-road lights, you're gonna see that the spot beam has a much more centered hot spot with some fill around it. That light is meant to go very long distance oriented light with a little bit of fill around it. So it's not the old school pencil beams of kind of the olden days. Jumping over to the combo beam for the off-road Flex Zero 3, that's gonna take that light and just spread it out a little bit more horizontally than the spot beam itself. It's not gonna throw light out super wide. It's not a flood beam pattern or anything like that. So you're still gonna have a nice center hot spot because the bottom one is a spot optic still. The top two are spread optics. So a little bit more spread out. So you're still getting a nice combination of horizontal and uh, distance coverage in there. Now, jumping over to the dual mode SAE fog lights, you're gonna see number one on the low beam, it is a true street legal, very strict adherence to the compliance rules set forth by SAE for the fog beam, right? That means it's a very wide pattern. It's not very vertically tall and there's a nice sharp cutoff, which light does not spill above. Then you flip the switch the other direction and you have a center hot spot now right above that fog beam that has a nice distance oriented element to it. So really that's the big difference. You will notice that the spot beam for the off-road version is still gonna be a brighter, more intense, longer distance light than the spot beam or the high beam for the SAE. And that's really the big differences between these beam patterns. So with that, I think it's time we go ahead and wrap this video on up. So those are the big differences comparing the off-road version to the SAE, the dual mode version of the Flex Era 3 lights. Uh, we know it can be a little bit confusing having two lights that, well, 
pretty much look the same and have very similar names, but perform two totally different functions. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, if you're interested in a set of either of these lights, please click on the links in the description below and you can snag a set for yourself. Hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully you found it to be educational. Please give us a big thumbs up if so. Um, and thank you all for tuning in. We very much appreciate it. And remember to adventure further.